morning students today i am going to continue the chapter resources and development today i will explain you about the classification of resources on the basis of origin that is biotic and abiotic on the basis of exhaustibility that is renewable and non renewable on the basis of ownership that is individual community national and international on the basis of status of development that is potential developed stock and reserves now resources are of many types like plant resources soil resources animal resources mineral resources etc resources are classified on the basis of renewable and non renewable resources forest and water are called renewable resources because they are in unlimited quantity and can be used year after year on the other hand mineral resources like oil iron ore coal are non renewable because they are limited in quantity and once exhausted cannot be replenished or renewed for further use there are many other ways to classify the resources they may be classified as natural or human made resources natural resources are the gifts of nature like land water forest and minerals human made resources are those that are created by man like building roads bridges railways machines textiles books etc resources can also be classified as biotic and abiotic resources on the basis of their origin biotic resources are derived from living beings they consist of plants animals microbes and their products coal petroleum and natural gas are also biotic resources have been derived from the living things of very distant past abiotic such as lands soils minerals air water etc resources can be classified on the basis of status of development as potential resources developed resources stock and reserves now what is potential resources potential resources refer to resources which are available in the area but not yet been exploited developed resources or actual resources are those resources which have been developed resources in the environment which have the potential to satisfy the human needs but human beings lack the technology to exploit them are termed as stock for example hydrogen and oxygen which can be 
a rich source of energy provided we can develop the technology to use them reserves are the resources for which we have the technical know how but which can be used for meeting the future requirements resources can also be classified according to their utility whether they are utilized as energy resource raw material or raw food resources are also classified on the basis of ownership that is international resources some resources are owned and regulated by international institutions these resources beyond 200 km of economic zone in the open oceans cannot be utilized by any country without the consent of international institution now what is na national resources these resources belong to a nation all resources like minerals forest wildlife water resources within the political boundaries and oceanic area up to 12 nautical miles from the shore termed as terrestrial water belong to the nation community owned resources these resources are meant for all the members of a community for an example common grazing grounds in a village and burial grounds public parks picnic spots etc in urban areas are used for all the people living there individual resources these are the resources which are owned by individual for example in urban areas people own plots shops flats etc